All right, guys, Jim here again with Mr. Lynn Thompson. Now, uh, we're going to be testing out the Polax. Rather, Lynn will be testing out the Polax, but we're not going to use the edge side. I mean, we already know what a cold steel edge can do to a zombie head. This time, we're going to test out the bludgeoning end. Yep, we're going to use this four-faced hammer here, and I'm not going to hit kind and gentle like I did before. I'm going to hit it hard now. So, let's take a look at the tail of the tape. Now, the next up is our pole axe. Um, we made this for a number of years. We're going to bring it back for 2013 probably. This ideal zombie material. Um, you've got the uh, hammer end and you've got four strikers here to really accentuate the blow. So that just goes right in the skull. And again, you don't hit as hard as you can. You just give them a wrap. Bang! And bang! And you can come and get really good reach with it also. You come a long ways. But this is relatively heavy. It weighs about six pounds. So you don't want to make huge strokes with it. And also when you're swinging a pole axe like this, you swing here and you keep your arm straight at impact like this. So it's whop and you make a kill. Let's see it. Let's make this thing go boom. Puncture. Well, that was what we could see from that is that is incredibly controlled, and uh, it looks like that because of, of some of these uh, some of these points are just inevitably going to be kind of sharp. That it just caused like a hole punch right through, and there wasn't much expansion, which is fantastic because you don't want blood spraying all over the place. You want a nice controlled pop, and that's exactly what that was. You could drive a Mack truck through that hole. <laughs> That does it for this incredibly special Cold Steel style version of Zombie Go Boom. Mr. Lynn Thompson, thank you so much for having us out Pleasure here. Pleasure having you here.